I started to feel the effects of the chemo and the radiotherapy during my transplant, but they said you would. Then you're in isolation, and you're in isolation until your neutrophils come up to above one. A neutrophil is one of the white blood cells that helps you fight infection. So immediately after your bone marrow transplant, you have no immune system. You have no ability to combat disease whatsoever. So they keep you in isolation. I felt in my most ill from day zero, which is when you receive your cells. I developed severe I think, mucositis, which is like an inflammation from mouth to exit. It goes right through you. I couldn't dissolve anything in my mouth for about a week. So I was very, very weak. I was on morphine um, to, um, to control that pain. They will offer you a nasogastric tube. Take it, take it early. I had mine put in the day after my transplant when I didn't need it, and then I really needed it. They fed me through a tube in my nose for 10 days, and it was the best thing that happened to me. I didn't have to think about food, I didn't have to think about drink, I could just, just be. You know, I had pneumonia, I had MRSA, I had C. diff, I had E. coli, on one occasion, I had three simultaneously. Uh, and I was really, really ill, but I just adopted an attitude where I knew I was gonna be given um, rocket fuel antibiotics uh, in my arm, that I had to lie down, relax, go to sleep for two or three days, but at the end of that, I would be in a much better condition. We even got to a point where he would have an infection and we knew exactly how it would work. He would sleep for about three days and then on the third day, I would go in there and drag him out of bed, put him in the shower and he would be fine. The worst bit for me was actually having to use a commode. Um, the rooms you spend your isolation in are probably 15 by 15. There's a bed in them, a chair and a commode. There is no ensuite bathroom. Um, so when you've got diarrhoea, it's quite an unpleasant experience. You have to call a nurse to come and empty it because they measure everything. The transplant team, they're ruled by numbers. Your life is ruled by numbers. Listen to your doctors, do what they tell you to do. Um, uh, dig deep and just take it a day at a time. Sometimes it's an hour at a time.